Good morning, class three. How are you? So, ma'am is back with Learn to Lead book, and this time it's a beautiful chapter. What is that chapter? It is chapter number ten. Stay organized for better performance. Yes, we need to stay organized for better performance so that all the things that we require for our working, if all these things are at a proper place and they are well organized, then we can give well. We can give the performance in a much better way, and our work will also become, will also be done in a fast manner. Okay. So what is it done? What is it? We are going to read according to a survey. Fine. On an average, people spend six minutes every day looking for their keys in the morning. Many times you have, you must have seen. that a few people they just keep their keys anywhere which they require uh, maybe the next day they keep their keys anywhere and they just forget where they have kept their keys maybe it is the keys of their office maybe it is the key of their car or a two wheeler maybe any key they generally keep it anywhere but and they forget what sh- what uh, what is the solution for this we always have key holders generally you must be seeing that uh, there are key holders in your house on which you can hang the key so that all the keys are at one place okay now people with shoe racks were seven times more likely to be on time for people for work than people without shoe racks see such kind of uh, surveys are also done people working in offices spend 1.5 hours a day looking for things forgetfulness clutter chaos are results of being unorganized being organized can bring you more time success and happiness of course forget if you forget the thing if you keep the thing and forget if there are so many things which are of no use you are keeping these things you are keeping these things and you are also keeping your useful thing in that at that time also what will what will happen at that time also you will waste your time in finding the useful things from those uh, useless things so you need to, you need to declutter your uh, things you need to organize you need to organize for whatever work you are doing being organized it always saves your time makes you do the work more efficiently and definitely the success is all yours now Let's think. <clears throat> John was in grade three, and he loved to play with his friends. Every day he used to come home from school, have lunch, go out to play with his friends. He used to be tired after playing that he always forgot to finish the homework. At times, even his parents were called to school, and he felt very bad about this. Below is the list of habits of organized and disorganized people. Take the points which you think describe the habits of highly organized people. Now, habits of highly organized people. Children, whenever I send you a message regarding the link of the class, generally I always mention that please carry your course book and a sharpened pencil along with you. or please carry your english notebook the course book and a sharpened pencil or please carry your workbook and a sharpened pencil why do pushpanjali ma'am uh, send this message so that so that you keep these things handy the book is there with you you are not going to run here and there to find your books like oh mama this is my course book turn we are going to do a chapter in course book or we are going to do the question answers in the english notebook the things the books are there with you and the pencil is there with you and we can start the working as soon as the meeting starts fine so these are the few habits which you are going to sit with your parents you are going to sit with your parents and tick the habits which highly organized people they exhibit or they have it in them okay you are going to discuss it with your parents and then tick here fine Okay. Now the next page. Act on it. Make a to-do list for yourself for a day or a week. Children, 
even if you make the list and you don't follow that list, that list is of no use. So firstly, be little organized here. Here you need to be organized and only then your hands will be organized. So make sure that you are working efficiently on time, keeping all the things at their proper places and you know what is the work to be done. Okay, promise me that you'll be organized.